Hello, Annie Sullivan All-Stars. We are in our eighth week of school and it is exciting to see how much growth you have made. And this week we're talking again about habit two. Begin with the end in mind and make a plan. And one of those plans we have in place is increasing the number of lessons we do on Dreambox. And I wanted to share with you some exciting news that in the last um, two months, we have went from 3% in September to now having 25% of our students at grade level and they are on track to get a level three on their South Dakota State Assessment. So awesome job. Keep up the good work. Keep on getting those lessons in. And I wanted to share with you this article I found about Habit 2. And it says that scientists have now know that humans are the only creatures who have developed the ability to think about the future. So we are able to use our imagination and think about what's going to be next and what we want in our future. And there's no other creature alive that is capable of worrying about tomorrow in quite the same way as humans. So what we do is we envision, we plant, we harvest everything around us that isn't a part of the natural world began as a spark of an insight from a human's mind, a spark of imagination. So isn't that cool? And that's what habit two is all about is thinking and conceiving ideas and making a plan to achieve something that you're looking forward to or would like to achieve. And so it says, Stephen Covey says, to begin with the end in mind means you start with a clear understanding of your destination. It means to know where you're going so that you better understand where you are now so that you know the steps to take in the right direction. All right, so here is our American Sign Language Skill of the Week. Hello everyone, I wanted to take a moment to review what our box is for. So this is in the office and it's our ASL suggestion box. It's again, a place for you to put in an idea for a sign that you would wanna know. And if you put it in, you will be in the video with me presenting the sign language, sign of the week for the school, but it's really important that you put your name and room number. I did have one suggestion from the box, but it didn't have a name or room number on it, so I couldn't have that friend with me in my video. Um, that's why it's so important to do that. This is located in the office and I need way more suggestions, so send them in. So the first thing we'll do is our suggestion from the box. That person wanted to know how to sign the name of our school, Annie Sullivan. Well, in ASL, any proper noun, so the names of things, the name of a restaurant, the name of a school, the name of a person, those are all finger spelled. So I don't have a sign for that, but I can show you how to spell it. I'm gonna have Miss Dewan kind of zoom into my hands because it's just a lot to explain. So A, N, N, E, S, U, L, L, I, V, A, N. That would be the sign for your school. It looks like this in real sign. Oh, really fast. Okay, let's continue with our pledge. So, so far we have learned I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Today we're gonna learn one, so most of the time you, you do one like this, but in ASL, we turn it back. So this part of your hand is out. One nation, this is your land. We do the N sign, circle above your wrist and down. One nation. For under, again, you make the land and we're gonna go underground. So you have your thumb up and your thumb slides underground. So one nation under, and for God, we make a hand like this. Your thumb tucks in front and it goes down your face. So let's try all that together. One nation under God. We'll put the whole thing together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. One more week and you'll know the whole pledge. Have a great one.
All right, Annie Sullivan All-Stars, I'm looking forward to seeing a class do the entire Pledge of Allegiance with their American Sign Language skills. This week, I would like to challenge you with using three manners. Manners are very important and they help you to be respectful, kind, courteous, and generous. And so these three manners are please, thank you, and saying an appropriate response when someone greets you. So if someone says hi, you should say hi back. If someone says hello, you should say hi or hello back. If they say good morning, you should say good morning. And so it's important this week that you practice those three manners because when you do that, you are respectful, you are responsible, and you are seen as a courteous person. All right, make it a great week. The choice is yours. And remember, at Annie Sullivan, we lead to succeed.